Oh, hello everyone. Uh, thanks for watching this video. Uh, in this video, we're going to talk about QuickBooks Windows app, uh, QBO Win app. Uh, we'll be uh, available for download from the uh, Into QuickBooks website as well as from uh, within QuickBooks uh, QBO. So this app needs to be installed on your com Windows computer. Uh, so once it's installed, you will see QB icon on your desktop, uh, which looks like uh, the icons uh, of recent desktop versions like these. So here's the one, QB icon, and we'll say QuickBooks. And uh, uh, so, uh, so not to be confused with all these uh, uh, desktop versions, uh, I just went ahead and uh, changed the name to uh, QBO app or basically you have to just right click and change the name it works fine so once you click it the uh, this this one uh, it will go through update and then you will sign in uh, screen will open the sign in screen it looks like this uh, you sign in just a regular account and if you want to stay sign in uh, just click this one stay sign in means uh, uh, once you stay sign in uh, you can close the browser and next time you just open the browser and uh, click the app again uh, then you will stay stay sign in you don't have to go through uh, this uh, sign in process again uh, so that's the advantage uh, and if you have a, a mul multiple accounts uh, accountant uh, multiple accounting accounts or something like that if something goes wrong with this uh, log in you can sign in then uh, uh, you can log out from here and sign in with another account so that's the disadvantage uh, so uh, anyway so I decided not to uh, stay sign in just a regular account and go from there it works pretty good so now uh, uh, once you logged in the screen it looks like this just like a regular uh, screen of course and from below this as you can see here it looks like a regular QBO and on top side you'll see a menu bar here all the QBO menu bar here and uh, so we'll go from there uh, the whole advantage of this uh, uh, QBO in app is uh, of course it's, uh, uh, it's, it, this one is uh, faster uh, than your regular browser and so it has many structure like QuickBooks on your computer as you can see here the moment you open it it looks like your uh, regular uh, desktop uh, version and there are all kinds of sort keys uh, and uh, it will auto refresh when you open windows uh, automatically refresh that's pretty neat and then you can open uh, multiple windows multiple windows here okay so uh, the, the the best part of this is uh, uh, just think of this as your uh, own uh, QBO uh, browser you don't have to use uh, uh, Chrome or uh, uh, Netscape or uh, I mean uh, IE or Firefox uh, so this is like your own browser QBO QuickBooks browser and it's faster than regular browser uh, of course this one has uh, uh, more caching capabilities so it's a lot faster uh, so the caching in the QBO app is much more than what the browser can uh, do due to uh, technology uh, limitation within a browser and uh, the word in Australia is uh, that you can expect up to 30% uh, improvement in speed over your regular browser uh, so anyway, uh, think of this as your faster browser uh, designed to be used just for QuickBooks Online. So that's the best way I would like to put it. Uh, so most likely this app will uh, continually upgrade it to enhance the uh, all these caching capabilities uh, to minimize the amount of, amount of uh, time it takes to uh, complete uh, transactions. That's the whole idea. So when you want to complete transaction QBO, uh, then it probably takes uh, longer than what you want. 
So with this caching uh, capability, it will uh, uh, it will minimize uh, time to complete your uh, uh, transactions. So no doubt this is a QBO uh, game ch game changing app, uh, and uh, uh, it's basically uh, uh, the app looks pretty straightforward. So the moment you go through all these uh, in less than ten minutes, if you have used uh, QBO. Uh, you should uh, uh, you should find a way well, way around. Okay, so as I see the below this, uh, it's exactly like the, your regular uh, QBO. And so here's your top menu bar. As you can see, here's the file. When you when you whenever you select file, it looks like your regular desktop version. Uh, then here you have edit, credit, create, company, navigate, report. Uh, favorites view window and the health okay so let's click the health first is F2 so but QuickBooks so this is the first time you will see QuickBooks version uh, release number so whatever you want to call it uh, in QBO you know they have uh, they don't have that so anyway so as you can see here this one is uh, uh, version 1 and I don't know this 16 uh, uh, maybe uh, I, I downloaded this and I was the 16 person to download I'm not sure about that so anyway so here's your uh, release version 1 right here okay uh, so uh, let's go through this and it's pretty straightforward uh, the best part we'll be waiting for is the, the uh, multiple windows and uh, so the, all you have to do is, let's say, uh, uh, customer here, and it will open like this. This is not normal. This is uh, uh, same like QBO, I'm sorry. Uh, and uh, so if you want to open uh, reports, let's open it here. As you can see here, uh, uh, new window. So this is for uh, profit and loss, and you can open another one. It's in the same screen, as you can see here, you have uh, profit and loss, and the other one is uh, uh, another file here. So it's basically multiple multiple uh, windows. It's very easy to do right here, as you can see here. right here multiple windows okay so let's go through the menu bar and in as I said in uh, less than 10 minutes uh, very easy to walk around uh, and let's look at the uh, screen in here I have one screen here right here let's see here Okay, so right here, so it's uh, the menu bar guide. So uh, under file, you have refresh, save, streets company, and so if you have a multiple uh, 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 companies, you know, in your clip QBO file, all you have to do is go in here and uh, in here, just select uh, another file here. Uh, so that's switching file. So let's do it from here. So refresh and got save here. Uh, so it's basically saving your transaction. It's not like uh, you're saving your uh, uh, backup file or something like that. So it's basically saving your uh, transaction. Uh, so when you look at this as if you know you can uh, create a backup copy from here. Uh, that's not the uh, that's not the that's not how it works here. Uh, kind of all have you're using desktop. Uh, so anyway, uh, so here we go, and then you sign out from here and exit here, and you get, if you want to get a subscription information, it's right here. And on edit side, uh, basically uh, copy and paste type, and here just search. Okay, so the create one. So the create one is is very similar to the one you have in a plus sign. This is the create one right here. All this, and on the company. 
So you have a settings right here, the big one, which is uh, uh, it's in here too. So right here, company settings. So this is a regular QBO, and on uh, uh, QBO Win app, it's right here, company settings, start of accounts, payroll settings. Uh, if you have payroll, and so it's basically uh, uh, all the company is from here, and the navigate. So you have uh, the customers in here. This is the navigation, left navigation bar. It's right here, and the reports. It's all uh, all from here as well. Reports, and this is the uh, the favorites one. Uh, if you have any favorites, any any pays, you can uh, uh, make it favorite. In this case, I made one customers right here. Here's the customer one, and I have another one here, the new invoice. So this is, uh, if you are familiar with the uh, desktop, you know, that's how you do it. On the, on the upper right, you can create uh, your favorite uh, uh, reports or whatever you want, see right here. And this one is the, uh, the view, zoom out. And here's the one, if you, if you don't want to open a new one, just will, will stay around with this one. Uh, it's basically, uh, uncheck this box, right here, like this. Now, whenever you open anything new, new one, it will stay within the uh, uh, window screen here. It won't be a new window. Like this. And uh, so want uh, a multiple window right here, just select multiple, right here, this is multiple, and uh, since I have a, a, a extra screen here, so uh, you can snap to the right, it goes to the other screen, like this, and uh, uh, you can uh, snap to the left, depends on which screen you're using, snap to the left, right here, uh, so uh, now let's see here, uh, and then you have uh, same thing with the keyboard stuff in here, and you have a link to uh, a frequent last questions, add your accountant, find your accountant, and send your feedback. Uh, so uh, basically, uh, uh, that's 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 what he does. Uh, the whole idea is uh, uh, faster. Uh, than your regular QView browser and it will have to uh, enter transactions uh, a lot faster that's our that's that's our, that's the best hope can that's what we're waiting, waiting for and uh, uh, so uh, uh, in summary uh, my top five list is uh, no inactive sign out you know in a regular one uh, it'll open for three hours maximum and then they'll automatically sign out on this one, you can just sign in and uh, not to worry, it will always uh, sign in unless you go back and uh, uh, sign out again, right here, the sign out one. Oh. So if you don't do that, just close the browser and next time you come back and just open it again, no problem. And uh, uh, number two on my list is the multiple windows. And the, the other one is the auto refresh. So when you have a, a multiple windows and if you make transaction on uh, 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 another screen it will automatically auto refresh uh, like on uh, like regular one you have to uh, if you are here transactions banking and someone making changes on the other side then you have to uh, uh, do the uh, uh, refresh again right right here auto so refresh so on this one it's basically uh, control R, it automatically does that. That's pretty neat. And uh, uh, and another another feeling I have is uh, this one is uh, uh, it's uh, you know better look and feel uh, compared to uh, QBOA QBO accountant one. That's what I feel. And then the last one on my list is uh, uh, it's a really faster browser experience. It feels pretty good, you know. The faster browser experience 
And so what's on my uh, wish list now? So I've seen this. Uh, so this uh, can make a whole bunch of lists, but I'm just gonna say top two list. Uh, so when I, I'm used to, uh, uh, of course we all are, I guess, uh, used to uh, desktop. So whenever you see file, uh, uh, you expect save it, you know, kind of old habit. So at least I can save this uh, somehow, just save this file, you know. And uh, uh, so uh, another thing is uh, whenever I'm on this one, I feel like I'm on uh, uh, trying to open my another company file from here, you know. It's now open here, but trying to open my another company file and like it create a uh, portable file or something like that. So those two are my uh, wish list. Someday they will come, you know, around and maybe uh, uh, have a way to save this file or something, you know. So uh, anyway, so that's what it is. Uh, and uh, so it's basically, you know, as you can see here, you can look at the uh, 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 and in here it's a save as. You can just save as. So let's go back to one more time on this one. So if you want to save something, you just come here and you can rename anything you want. You know, this is like customers and you can rename any way you want it. And customer, you know, you can just name it any way you want it, you know, like this and save it. And then you will save it on your on your list here. And on this one, it's a, your, your favorite clear customers are saying like this one. And uh, so you can edit this one. Uh, and so this one happens to be give feedback, which is uh, in here too. Give feedback in here, change feedback. Uh, so I'll just lift this, uh, I'll see here. Uh, one more time, as you can see here, you can look at all this. Uh, so you have a, a top menu bar, file, edit, uh, then you create. So this is where you can create your transactions, same as uh, the regular QBO. And then a company, you have, you know, all these settings and chart of account and a navigation. This is your left navigation bar, uh, exactly the same. And then you have reports. Uh, so this is the one you can add all reports and keep on adding, uh, make it favorites and it will just add on in here, you know. So this is, uh, if, you're, uh, if you're familiar with the desktop, you can uh, make it favorites. It, it, it's, it's exactly like that. So right here, favorite this page. All you have to do is favorite this page, manage favorite. Uh, and then uh, here's a view here. So you can zoom in, zoom out. That's pretty neat. And then the, uh, you can minimize, maximize. And here's your multiple windows one. And snap to the left. You have a, 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 if you want to open your uh, window on the left side, you know, this is what you do. And then you can save it. Uh, uh, rename it any way you want it and and you, you have you can create your favorite so anyway thanks for watching uh this is uh visit our website newqbo.com uh and uh, come back again thank you very much bye